Good evening, Edinburgh, and welcome to your weekly political update. I'm Sarah Gillingham. While the Republican candidates already have two debates under their belts and a third on the way, Democratic presidential hopefuls finally got their turn to prove themselves on the national stage this past Tuesday night. 15.3 million viewers tuned into the event hosted by CNN and Facebook, which was moderated by CNN's Anderson Cooper, many calling Secretary Hillary Clinton the winner of the debate, with Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders coming in a close second. During the debate, candidates had the opportunity to sound off on issues ranging from gun control to immigration to Hillary Clinton's emails. While candidates such as former Rhode Island Governor Lincoln Chafee weren't so quick to dismiss the scandal, one of the biggest moments of the night came when Clinton's top opponent, Bernie Sanders, came to her defense regarding the email scandal in an attempt to bring the attention back to, quote, the real issues. And let me say something about the media as well. I go around the country, talk to a whole lot of people. Middle class of this country is collapsing. We have 27 million people living in poverty. We have massive wealth and income inequality. Our trade policies have cost us millions of decent jobs. The American people want to know whether we're going to have a democracy or an oligarchy as a result of Citizens United. Enough of the emails. Let's talk about the real issues facing America. Clinton is expected to testify in front of the Select Committee on Benghazi regarding her emails on October 22, 2015. Despite Bernie Sanders coming to the defense of Democratic running mate Hillary Clinton, she wasn't afraid to go on the offensive in regards to Sanders' stance on guns. Clinton, is Bernie Sanders tough enough on guns? No, not at all. I think that we have to look at the fact that we lose 90 people a day from gun violence. This has gone on too long, and it's time the entire country stood up against the NRA. The majority of our country <laughs> supports background checks, and even the majority of gun owners do. Senator Sanders had this to say in response to Secretary Hillary Clinton's criticisms. As a senator from a rural state, what I can tell Secretary Clinton that all the shouting in the world is not going to do what I would hope all of us want, and that is keep guns out of the hands of people who should not have those guns and end this horrible violence that we are seeing. I believe that there is a consensus in this country, a consensus that said we need to strengthen and expand instant background checks, do away with this gun show loophole, that we have to address the issue of mental health, that we have to deal with the straw man purchasing issue, Senator. and that when we develop that consensus, Senator. we can finally, finally do something. As expected, Vice President Joe Biden sat out the first debate with many questioning if he may have missed his opportunity to enter the race for the White House, especially on the heels of Secretary Hillary Clinton's strong debate performance. CNN reported late last week that the current VP made a series of phone calls last week to various Democratic strategists asking detailed questions about how to launch a 2016 pres presidential campaign. There is no word on the exact time to expect Biden's decision on whether he will be entering the 2016 pres presidential race, but it is decision is expected by the end of the month. And speaking of debates, Dr. Ben Carson and Donald Trump threatening late last week to boycott the third Republican presidential debate should CNBC not agree to the terms set forth by the two candidates. In a letter sent to CNBC last Thursday, Carson and Trump demanded there be a two-hour time limit, including commercials, and opening and closing statements. CNBC agreed to the terms. That debate is set to take place in Boulder, Colorado on October 28, 2015. And finally tonight, we have the latest poll numbers for the top candidates in each party via RealClearPolitics.com. According to a Boston Globe Suffolk University poll released on Friday, October 16th, Secretary Hillary Clinton is currently in first place with 37 percentage points, followed very closely by Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders with 35 points. Though he still has yet to officially announce his candidacy, Vice President Joe Biden still maintains his third place standing with 11 points. Former Virginia Senator Jim Webb is now in fourth place with three points. And rounding out the list of Democratic candidates, former Governor of Maryland Martin O'Malley, 
and former governor of Rhode Island Lincoln Chafee are tied with one point. Switching gears now to the Republican candidates, according to a CNN ORC poll released on Wednesday, October 14th, Donald Trump is currently leading the Republican pack with 38 percentage points, followed by Dr. Ben Carson with 22 points. Coming in third is former business, business executive Carly Fiorina with eight points. Trailing only one point behind Fiorina is Florida Senator Marco Rubio with seven points. And rounding out the list of Republican candidates is former Florida Governor Jeb Bush with six points. That's all the political news we have for you tonight, covering the right and the left, down the middle. This is Sarah Gillingham. I hope you all have a wonderful night.